Hi everyone. Uh, this question here states that if f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 2, then the value of f of x plus 2 is. Okay, let's just take a quick look at this. Now remember what function notation is stating. Okay, we've got f of x here. f is the rule. And so in this case, what the rule is, is you take the independent variable, square it, subtract 2 times the independent variable, subtract 2. And whatever shows up inside the parentheses here, that is the independent variable. So move over here, I'm asking you to evaluate it when the independent variable is this x plus 2. Now granted, it's more of an expression here, okay? So this, uh, what I'm saying here, I, I know I, I probably have to do a little bit more work to make that totally make sense here, but this is now what the independent variable is supposed to be. So instead of independent variable squared being just x squared, now it's going to be, okay, actually I'll write it out like this. This is going to be f of x plus 2 is equal to, okay, x plus 2 squared. Okay, that's, that's what's going on here. Whatever's inside here is being squared. Then we do minus 2 times whatever shows up inside. Now notice I'm putting brackets or parentheses around those. Okay, because it's, it's this thing being squared. It's this whole thing being multiplied by negative 2, not just the x. And then at the end of this function, I'm subtracting 2. Okay, so now what i got to do is I actually have to perform these operations here and simplify it. Okay, so x plus 2 squared is going to be x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay, remember this is a binomial squared, so I, I need to have that third term. If you're wondering where did the 4x come from, it's because this is x plus 2 times x plus 2, and you have to expand that out. The negative 2 here distributes, so negative 2x minus 4 when you distribute that through, and the minus 2 at the end. And now we just group together like terms. So x squared, well, there's a 4x here and a negative 2x here, so that's a total of 2x's. Two, two okay, and then I've got 4 minus 4, okay, that's nice, that cancels, and then I got this negative 2 left over. So x squared plus 2x minus 2, x squared plus 2x minus 2, eh, there it is, C. There's our answer. Now, if, if you find it odd when I say that the independent variable is x plus 2, and it's not, I mean, it's, it's a binomial here, another way you might think about it here is I'm creating a new function, g of x, where the independent variable is x. Okay, is just x by itself, but I'm doing that by replacing the independent variable in f with x plus 2. Now the result is, you might think of this as being my g of x, and where the, just, just the x is the independent variable. And I'm using this as kind of an intermediate step. Okay, that might make that make a little bit more sense here, but just, just understand that when I have that, whatever shows up inside the, the parentheses here, I should say, that is what takes the place of the independent variable in function notation.